Hello everybody and in today's video we're going to be doing Velocity Tweaks versus Risen Tweaks. Uh, this will be a new test for me. Most of the other tests in this series I've tried a product from them before. Whether it be the present or the past I've tried something they've sold. Velocity Tweaks I've heard of them however I've never actually bought something from them. So this will be a first for this test. Like always I am rocking an i7-10700F. 16 gigabytes of ddr4 ram running at 3000 megahertz and i am on a 1660 super for the prices of these utilities the extreme tweaks cost 30 usd however if you use code hydra at checkout you can get 15 percent off any product from risentweaks.com and for velocity tweaks premium utility it costs 30 usd as well or 29.99 so this will be a the you know it is the exact same price so whatever utility gains the most performance wins there is no price judging on this so that is good uh like always i'm going to showcase the velocity tweaks utility first then the risen tweaks and then we'll get on with the testing and we'll see which utility gives me the most performance increase so let's get on with the velocity tweaks showcase all right i have just got the velocity tweaking panel uh, we're going to go ahead and open it. I have seen the home screen because I had to log in, but that'll be alright. Uh, I kind of like how this looks. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I do kind of like how this looks. Yes, I do like this, definitely. I like the name. Oh, yeah, yeah. This this will make it simple for any newcomers to PC speaking. That looks good. GPU. I like I like every, every utility that has the... The, jar, the downloadable tool, tools, like useful tools, whatever. Uh, you, uh, GPU tweaks, USB. I like how they have this for laptops. I do like most of this stuff. Nice, apply all. Network, I hope this is actually good. This is another one where it looks like they have Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and then ping specific. And then dbloat. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that on one before. All right, well, I do like how this looks. I'm I probably give it a tie for Risen Tweaks, honestly. Uh, I I actually quite enjoy how this panel looks. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna do everything I can for my system, and then we'll see who wins, Velocity versus Risen. But uh, let's go ahead and showcase the Risen Extreme, and then we'll get on with those tests. So let's go do that. All right, and here we have the Risen Extreme panel. Let's go ahead and see this. If you've watched these videos before, you have seen this, but I do have to show it. Give your Windows optimizations, all of these settings for you, network optimizations, network. They only have Ethernet, no Wi Fi, unfortunately. D bloat, all this stuff here. GPU specific, there's NVIDIA, Radeon. Useful Radeon and definitely some useful G uh, NVIDIA tweaks. And then extra optimizations, priority for games, uh, keyboard and mouse and data queue size. These are important and CPU tweaks. Uh, I'm probably going to have to give these a tie for looks, honestly. Uh, I do think Risen Tweaks has more like actual options to do, more tweaks to do, but you never know. Uh, I'm probably going to give it a tie for looks, yeah. But let's go ahead and go to the FPS test to determine the real winner. But uh, yeah, let's get on with that. For our process count test, the stack OS had a process count of 148. The velocity tweaked OS had a process count of 78, which I believe is the lowest we've ever had on a comparison video. And our risen tweaks process count was 66. Though velocity tweaks is very impressive because some of the utilities that we usually reverse never get like below 90. Uh, I do like that, but Risen Tweaks still got much less, so Risen Tweaks will take the point for the process count test. For our buffer bloat test, the stock OS got a buffer bloat score of a D. For the velocity tweaked OS, it got a buffer bloat score of a D as well. Unfortunately, it did not change. And for the Risen Tweaks OS, it got a buffer bloat score of an A+. I'm not sure what it is with these utilities not having proper Ethernet optimizations, but it is a little disappointing. So, this does give Risen Tweaks the point again for the buffer load score test. For the latency test, the stock OS had an average process latency of 5.87 and an average DPC latency of 3.5. And 
On the Velocity Tweaked OS, it had an average process latency of 5.36 with an average DPC latency of 3.32. On the Risen Tweaked OS, it had an average process latency of 3.04 and an average DPC latency of 1.28, giving Risen Tweaks the win for the latency category. For FPSS, I actually wanted to update this. I think this makes it a lot easier. I'm using a app called Cat Frame X and it has this very nice comparison chart on it. But here we have a graph of our three tests of stock, velocity, and risen. So at the very bottom, we have stock with an average FPS of 267, a 0.1% low FPS of 162, and a 0.1% low of 60 of 96. Our velocity tweaked OS had an average FPS of 277, a 1% low FPS of 172 and a 0.1% low of 123. On the Risen Tweaked OS, our average FPS was 286, our 1% lows were 191, and our 0.1% lows 137, giving Risen Tweaks the win. I thought that this made it a lot clearer to see, and you can see our 1% lows are up. It's almost like a constant line going up. But at the top, you do see Risen Tweaks is the winner. So, for the FPS test, Risen Tweaks does take the dub. For the conclusion of this video, it is very clear that our winner is Risen Tweaks. Uh, unfortunately, I did not think that Velocity Tweaks uh, performed as well as I kind of hoped and thought they would. Uh, I really did like how their UI looked and all. Um, but no, it just... Eh, I mean, it is... It was not a bad utility, no. It wasn't anything like Zen Tweaks or anything like that. You know, I did see in a decent FPS increase in my averages. My 1% lows were up, my 0.1% lows were up, but it was nothing like Risen Tweaks Extreme. Uh, I do find it, like, it is really just getting disappointing that there's really no, like, like good Ethernet tweaks on these utilities. I don't think I've ever had a buffer bullet score be above a D on these tests. Maybe a C+. Plus. Besides, like, Risen Tweaks, which usually gets an A or an A+, plus every time. Um, but, I mean, yeah, there's not much to say. Risen Tweaks has taken the dub for this video. Um, if you would like to have, like, request uh, the next utility we should test this on, uh, please leave a comment. And uh, make sure to use code HYDRA at checkout to save 15% off any product from RisenTweaks.com.